take a few seconds in finding our mountain pose and just relaxing a little bit. So <clears throat> come to the front of your mat, bring your feet hip width apart. So it depends mostly on your knees. For some of us who might have knees that go inside or go outside, what we want our knees to be is facing the front of the mat because our knees are what bends forward. So making sure that your knees are facing the front of your mat. If this means that your feet are like this, it's okay as long as your knees are forward. So knees forward, knees underneath the hips, <clears throat> ankles underneath the knees. We're going to start to make a really strong mountain pose now. So squeeze through the feet. Engage through the kneecaps, pulling the kneecaps up and then slowly letting them go, tucking in the tailbone, so giving a small little press in with the glutes, engaging slightly through the lower abdominal muscles, inhaling up through the chest, rounding the shoulders back, hands at the side, chin slightly lifted, and breathe. Mountain pose, Tadasana. I want you to take five deep, strong breaths in this pose. Feel how light you feel in this pose. If you're not feeling light, then you might need to do some adjustments. You should feel no extra pressure anywhere else in this posture. So just relax, but remain engaged. Breathe. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, good, okay, we're going to move on to our sun salutation, so we're going to do sun salutation A and sun salutation B from the Ashtanga series and include that in our vinyasa, we're going to do a very, very simplified version of A to begin with and then slowly start to build up. If you reach a certain space in your sun salutation where you feel like it's uncomfortable, or you don't want to do any more, keep it at the level that suits you, right? This is not a game. It's not a competition. There's no failure. It's just about doing what feels good for your body and bringing balance to your body. So with that being said, we're going to start off super simple. And this is going to be our baseline. From this baseline, you can grow. But it's always good to return to the baseline if you're feeling pain or discomfort in the body. We're also not going to go too fast. And we're going to break it down pose by pose to begin with. So let's begin. <clears throat> Starting from our mountain pose, feeling that engagement. We're going to take a deep inhale, raise the hands up. Exhale, forward folding at the hips, micro bending slightly in the knees if you need to. Inhale to a straight back, maybe lifting the fingertips up over the shins, up over the knees, and exhaling back down. Now we're just going to step back into a plank for now. So coming into a nice little plank. We're going to focus on our plank for a second. So remember how our arms and our hands should be. Right, the little L shape pointing towards the front of the mat, squeezing at the glutes, keeping our toes tucked, pressing through the shoulders. Holding that plank, engaging the core, inhale. From here, we're going to start with the knees, chest, chin, and then we're going to go to a chaturanga. So first, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, chest and chin. Super simple. From here, we're going to inhale, slide forward. Come into a baby cobra. So my belly is completely on the mat. I'm going to release my hands. I'm going to inhale, look up. My toes can be pointed. I'm squeezing at the glutes to get the extra lift through the chest. Beautiful. Inhale here. Exhale, place the hands down. You're going to press up. It's good to keep these elbows tucked in. We don't want any elbows splaying out. Elbows tucked in, pressing up. Inhale. Coming into a tabletop, tucking the toes. <clears throat> Rolling into that downward facing dog. Breathing here, five breaths. Again, remember what your downward facing dog looks like. You can still walk it out for now. We're not doing any static dogs yet. 
breathe. Just make sure that your spine is postured, that your shoulders are away from your ears, that your arms are engaged. Two and one. Okay, we're going to slowly come back to plank. So I want us to practice chaturanga. So from this plank pose, pressing up through the shoulders again. Now we're going to try for chaturanga. If chaturanga isn't suiting you today, then we're just going to do knees chest chin. So for chaturanga, what you're going to do is you're going to wrap these elbows in. Inhale. As you exhale, you're going to come to a 90 degree angle. A little bit of a push up. From here, you're going to drop the hips and inhale to an upward facing dog or cobra. So cobra, our knees are down on the mat. My elbows are slightly bent. My chest is open. For upward facing dog, I press the back of my feet against the mat. I lift my knees. I engage my glutes and I raise my pelvis off of the mat. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to roll back into our downward facing dog. Good. Now when we come into a static downward facing dog, find whatever works for you. Again, make sure that your hands aren't too far, your feet aren't too far, parallel apart. Bending the knees if you need to for now, or if you can, you can straighten your legs and come into your downward facing dog, heels down. But the heels down isn't important. What's important is you keep your posture and your shape. Breathe. Two. And one. Looking between the hands again, we're just going to walk ourselves back up towards our hands. Making sure that our feet are right where they began, nice and parallel. A little micro bend in the knees if you need to, if those hamstrings are tight. I'm gonna inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Bending at the knees, inhale, raising yourself up. Reaching up nice and high towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale. Release them to the side. Breathe. Take a few seconds to breathe. This is the basic of what our sun salutation A is going to look like. Right? We're not going to do two knees, chest, chin, and chaturanga. We're going to just do whatever you choose. And then we're going to try and do it in a nice flowing, controlled, mindful motion. That's going to be our next practice. So for the next sun salutation that we do, try and do it with a little bit more flow. Choose what works for you. And remember, if anything is hurting, just bring it back a variation. So if upward facing dog or cobra is hurting, do baby cobra. If chaturanga is beyond your control right now, do knees, chest, chin. Even if downward facing dog is too much, do a tabletop. All right? Beautiful. Let's begin. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, still stepping back. Plank pose. Plank. Inhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Your choice. Inhale here. Exhale, roll back into tabletop or into downward facing dog. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Find strength in this posture. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Look between the hands. Again, stepping ourselves forward. All right, so now we're maybe doing it in one big step. Inhale to this half lift. Exhale down. So for our half lift, just to add, you can either just look up and come down, or you can inhale, come up into a full Ardha Uttanasana and come down again. It is your choice. As long as your spine isn't doing this, and your spine is postured and straight. Good. So from our half lift, we bend the knees and inhale, we gently roll ourselves up, reaching up nice and high. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Inhale, hands to the side. Good. All right, let's get a little bit more flow going. So, Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, folding at the hips, keeping the spine straight, bending at the knees if you need to. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold. Exhale down, still stepping back. Plank. From our plank, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in your downward facing dog. Three breaths. Two. And one. Inhale, looking between the hands. Again, stepping. Try step forward with the opposite foot now that you used last time. If you didn't remember, just remember for last for the next time you do it. Holding onto the elbows, getting a little bit of traction. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale down, bending at the knees. Inhale, raising yourself up all the way. Exhale. Hands to heart center. And inhale, release. I'm going to do it two more times. The next two, I'm going to teach you a variation of the jump back just because you might want to try it. Again, this is something that can be quite difficult. So if you're not getting it at first, it's okay. But I want to give you the option. So we're going to have two options. Step back or jump back. And for the jump back, there's also a version where you can take two hops. So this is what I'm going to teach you. So again, we start off nice and simply, super normal, Tadasana. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, fold forward at the hips, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Now exhale, we're going to do the jump back first with two hops. So my fingertips come down and I jump back once and twice. Super easy, plank. Knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, breathe here, three breaths. Two. One. Inhale, looking between the hands. Now jumping forward is gonna be the same thing. We're gonna do this with the hops. So I'm gonna jump forward once. And then twice. Good. Half lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fourth fold. Inhale. Lifting up all the way. Exhale. Hands to the side. Good. We're going to do it one more time. Now if you want to try the full jump back, you can. And then after that, I'm going to give you a sun salutation to run on your own. But let's start again with the jump back. So everyone, mountain pose. Inhale. Hands go up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. All right, so now we're going to go for the full jump back. Or you can try for just two, whatever is working for you. Exhale, jump back into a chaturanga. So catch yourself in that chaturanga. Inhale, slide forward into that upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Remember guys, it's your choice what you want to do. So when you do your hop backs, you can hop back into a plank. But when you're doing the full jump back, you want to jump back into a chaturanga. And if none of these are appealing to you, then just practice the original one that we did with the knees, chest, chin. Good, now the full hop back. So we're going to bend the knees just to get a little bit of momentum. Look between the hands and we're going to hop up. And land nice and softly. Inhale, half lift. Exhale down, bending at the knees. Inhale, rolling ourselves all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center, releasing them at their side. Mountain pose. Good. Now we're going to do one more. The last one, I'm going to do without demonstrating because I want you guys to do it on your own. So I'm just going to speak towards the camera and you guys are going to hear the cues as I say them. Okay? So, find yourself into your mountain pose. Good. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, forward fold. 
inhale halfway lift exhale step or jump back into plank or chaturanga inhale knees chest chin upward facing dog or cobra exhale downward facing dog hold your downward facing dog for three more breaths two one on your next inhale you're going to bend the knees look between the hands step jump or hop forward in between the hands come to that halfway lift exhale down again inhale raise yourself up into your full stretch upwards and exhale hands to heart center and inhale hands to the side beautiful mountain pose relax good job everyone it's good to do it on your own without visuals so that you just get it in your head a little bit breathe now we're going to do one round of sun salutation b this is a little bit more different we're going to incorporate sun salutation a i'm just going to add a few more things okay so just one round of this we'll do more of this in the classes to come but i just want to introduce you guys to it nice and slowly okay so super slow super easy to maintain for this one, our mountain pose is going to be a little bit different. We're going to start our mountain pose with our feet together. Okay, this is so that we can go into Utkatanasana or chair pose. So, with our feet together, still maintaining that same engagement, that same posture, hands at the side. Now, on the inhale, we're going to squeeze our knees in, squeeze our feet together, and we're going to drop. Right? I'm not bending at my ankles, I'm bending at my knees, and I'm keeping my tailbone tucked. I'm going to drop, hands come down. As soon as I touch the ground, I inhale, sweep the hands up, chair pose. Exhale, fourth fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down again. Again, step or hop back into plank or chaturanga, your choice. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. From here, immediately we're going to inhale, raise that right leg up, and exhale, step it between the hands. Drop the left heel down and turn it to 45 degrees. If you need to take a wider step with that back foot, do so. From here, you're going to press up through your chest, bend that right knee, straighten that back leg, turn the hips forward, keep that tailbone nice and strong, glutes engaged. Knee bent to 90 degrees, core engaged, shoulders forward, hands up, however you like, inhale here, and breathe in warrior one, Vira Badrasana A. Press with the outer edge of that back foot, bend with that front knee. If this is uncomfortable for your shoulders for any reason, hands to the heart center. Hold for five. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend that knee, bring the hands back down, stepping that right foot back. Plank, again, your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Now to do the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, stepping in between the hands. Same measurements, dropping that right heel, finding what feels good for you. Back foot at a 45 degree angle, lifting up through the chest, bending that front knee, turning the hips inward. Shoulders forward, core engaged, torso postured, hands lifted, Virabhadrasana A. Again, if it's hurting your shoulders, you can bring your hands to your chest. Whatever works for you. Hold here for five breaths. Where we want to be feeling this engagement in the front leg, slight stretch in the back hip, right? Keeping it forward. Pressing with the outer edge of that back foot. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Last breath. 
Beautiful, very good. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, fold forward over that front foot, step it back, plank. One more time. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we're gonna hold this downward dog for our final five breaths. Let's make it a nice strong one. See now, maybe you can bring your heels more closer to the ground. Stretching out through the shoulders, pressing up through the pelvis and the tailbone. Three more breaths. Breathe, relax. Two more breaths. Good. And then on your final breath, take a nice big inhale, bend the knees, step, hop, walk forward, feet together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down, we're gonna raise up into that chair pose again. Inhale, swiping at the floor, chair pose. Exhale, straightening the knees. Inhale, hands to heart center. And exhale, hands to the side. Let's come back into our Tadasana. A mountain pose. Breathe here. Just take five breaths. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you are at all interested in learning more about yoga or becoming a yoga teacher, then check out our online trainings or even go to one of our live trainings in Copenhagen and Bali. And if you feel like there's something that's urging you to do it, then why not? Follow your flow and keep being awesome. See you soon.